Good day. This is a general love message for anybody with Gemini in their birth chart, whether it's sun, moon, rising, north node, Mercury, Venus. If you have Gemini in your birth chart and you came for a general love and relationship reading, Gemini. I don't think that was a wolf, but somebody is like trying to sniff you out. That's weird. Any other messages? Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. You may be in a separation or you're going to be in separation from a partner. Love messages for Gemini, love and relationship messages for Gemini. Love messages for Gemini universe. Make sure you are loving yourself first. And your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations will help bring you and your soulmate together that you can actually trust. And there is a past life relationship lingering in your energy field. Somebody wants to make an effort to come towards you, but are unable to. So that's why they're lurking. They're gossiping and talking about how you're a high priestess. They want to help you with something or they need your help. Clarify separation for Gemini. What is this separation? Yeah, I thought so. Only one card stayed with me and that was Hanged Man. Okay, so you've got Hanged Man. It is destiny for a foundation of some sort. Marriage, happy home, union. But it it's not going to come together until either you or the partner that you're separated from goes within and look at a situation, a different perspective. Clarify love yourself first for Gemini. If you're a feminine energy, make sure you are in touch with your masculine energy side. If you're in a relationship with a masculine currently, they need to start loving themselves first. They are not feeling romantically attractive to you. If you are the masculine energy in your emperor status, the universe says love yourself first, okay? People will respect you by how you teach them to respect you. Clarify love yourself first. Wow. You got two tens and a death card. Someone is holding on to a family situation that needs to come to an end or is going to come to an end. There's going to be an ending to burdens when whoever starts loving themselves and stop holding on to situations that are not healthy for them in regards to a family or community setting. Either you or your person 
It's not loving themselves first because they're burdened by some type of obligation that they're not putting it into. They're holding on to something. They're holding on to other people. What is calling in your soulmate? Calling in your soulmate. You are strongly manifesting your soulmate. Like your prayers and affirmations and visualizations are going directly to the universe. Like they're strong, strong. Or someone's calling you in in a lustful energy. Interesting. Someone's desiring you as their soulmate. Or you're desiring somebody as your soulmate. No, someone, someone's desiring you. And you're in your hermit mode. Clarify trust. What is trust? Clarify trust for Gemini. Oh, it's a lot. You got the Queen of Swords and Queen of Wands in reverse. What is this? So there's the Queen of Wands. That has a message. The Queen of Wands has a baby, but they don't have a new beginning in money or career. Because they didn't make a decision to choose self-care and decided to have deceitful energy. So there was a promiscuous person that got pregnant and had a baby. They're broke. Made the wrong choice of action. And... That situation is going to be put to rest. The universe says trust that that situation with the Queen of Wands in reverse is being put to rest. It's a new cycle. And for the Queen of Swords in reverse, the Queen of Swords in reverse is currently engaged with a couple. It's a King of Cups and Queen of Cups. The Queen of Swords is a third party to a King of Cups and a Queen of Cups in reverse. Nobody here is balanced. These two intuition has been turned off. They're not emotionally stable. This person is not mentally stable or using logic. And um, they weren't paying attention to their own surroundings. And they've got some mess going on. They're trapped. So the universe says trust that they're in a tower or a tower is coming. And they're not going to have any peace of mind. They're not going to have any pentacles. And you're walking away. You walked away from the immaturity. You walked away from whatever was being offered to you in this situation. So just trust that this situation with these people is, um, I think the universe is taking care of it, literally, as you can see. All parties involved are in a tower as you move to calmer waters. Oh, that's sad. Said the little baby might be homeless. You also have another air sign energy watching you. 
to be an Aquarius that is a wounded warrior and wanting to surrender to the universe because they decided to do teamwork with some type of community or neighborhood and they're now stagnant and experiencing money delays, but they want love with you. But they're, they have lies, little white lies that they might try to bring you. And the universe is going to have some changes for that person for wanting to come bring you narcissistic energy. Clarify past life relationship for Gemini love. Past life relationship. Clarify past life relationship for Gemini. Someone, on the other hand, is going within, taking a break from chaos, and wanting to move very quickly towards you. Might be two different suitors from past lives coming towards you. Wow. Okay. We have the power again for those individuals or individual trying to bring you a headache. Universe, what's the outcome for separation and hang man? Balance your new beginning. It's the Two of Pentacles and Ace of Wands. So balance the new beginning that you're going to take moving forward. And as far as loving yourself, you got the Ten of Cups, Ten of Wands, and the death. The universe says, take this as a message to do what your wish fulfillment is for you. Love yourself for your family. Create new ideas. You're gonna get a you're gonna get some type of message from the universe regarding your family. Maybe you've been loving yourself. I works as confirmation. Somebody also has went into introspection and may want to apologize to your family because they were holding on to burdens from their own situation, not loving themselves first. Outcome for calling in your soulmate strength. Calling in your soulmate strength. Calling in your soulmate strength. Again, a message of some sort about action being taken. All right, so... Calling in your soulmate, you're going to get a message that whoever your soulmate is, is going through a whoever your soulmate is or that you're calling in, you're inspiring them to bring justice. To a, a karmic cycle that's ending, and they're gonna put down their burdens. Or as you're calling in your soulmate and growing in your strength, you're finding inspiration from negative cycles that you've put down your own burdens and brought justice to yourself. Gonna pay off for you in your love life and um, 
in your love life and your finances, actually. There's a lot of interference in your love life, Gemini. Like, a lot. But it's your love life, so it's not like you didn't know. Let's find out the outcome of all of this over here with the tower and Queen of Wands in reverse and Queen of Swords in reverse. They're scared. They're scared. They can't sleep at night. They have anxiety. They're depressed. They're in a mental prison. And that King of Cups is like calling judgment on them in the spiritual realm that was involved. That King of Cups that was involved, the Wounded Warrior. And or the Wounded Warrior. Clarify, uh, when I clarify, what's the outcome? Power, again. Five of Cups. Five of Pentacles. Seven of Cups. And the Ace of Swords in reverse. So the outcome is that truths about illusions are going to be revealed. Some people are going to be left out in the cold. Some people would have missed opportunities to be with you in a loving relationship. And that's going to cause drastic changes for all of these parties involved. Their own love lives have been affected for whatever they did to yours. You got the wheel again and the fool. You're going to have a new beginning in your love life. So whoever was interfering, I wouldn't say thank them. I would just say continue to transform. Continue to be in your hermit mode. Staying away from chaos. There's a Scorpio energy that watches you. Another Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, feminine energy that watches you. And that's because both of them have a lot of baggage and they're bound. They want to walk away from whatever parts they played in the situation. They actually want to work with you because they see that you manifest even while frustrated. You will be a good team member or a person on their team to help them bring emotional fulfillment. That's weird. So basically, they took action against you. And after watching you, they're like, oh, she actually would be beneficial to us. Where they do that at? And anywho, what's the outcome for past life relationship? Outcome is an emperor energy with the six of cups in reverse. One of these energies is not from your past, like in the 3D, but you guys had a past spiritually. And also somebody from this past wants to reunite with you. But the universe said, don't do it. Well, I ain't going to say the universe said, don't do it. The universe said, be aware that there are secrets about um, whoever that energy is being bound and gagged to another feminine energy that still has more secrets. But in divine timing, whatever they put together as a team is going to come down. Yeah, that was like, what, the fourth fourth or fifth interruption? Dang, Gemini. Let's get your um, guardian angel message. Guardian angel message for Gemini. Either you're seeing something clearly or somebody else is seeing something clearly. Everybody is seeing something clearly that you are a high priestess. What 
what love message advice do you have for Gemini? The Eight of Pentacles. Your guardian angel said this is a time of learning and honoring, honing your skills. You may feel inspired to go back to school, take seminars on topics that fascinate you, or educate yourself on the healing arts. This is a good time to change jobs or make a career move. The key to success is in the details. Monitor your projects carefully. And for those Geminis in separation, let's get a message from your person. Message from Gemini's person. But are in separation. Would I be rejected if I contacted you? Do you still want me? I see you in the face of strangers. You are always with me. So whoever you're in separation from sees you in other people's faces. Or at least they try to see the you in other people and it doesn't happen. So they're wondering if they try to contact you, would you reject them? All right, Gemini, for personal love and relationship ratings, check the link in the description box. Thank you and bye-bye.